some of the things that I have given to God sort of in a tug of war situation are big and kind of obvious and the things that people on the outside would look in and say, oh, I can see that that was probably a spiritual battle. But when I think back over a season where God asked something of me that I really did not want to give and it made me angry and it, I felt abandoned and um, it was a handful of years ago when Brandon and I were in transition and we were we were leaving one thing and going to another and it was a really rocky season for a lot of reasons but one of which was um, it caused a whole lot of tension and turmoil where we where we were and as we were transitioning um, it was just a devastating season of broken relationships and betrayal even and a lot of a lot of talking and a lot of lines drawn in the sand about this or that and I remember thinking I'm gonna defend myself and set this record straight and God said you are not you are gonna take this on the chin and you are going to go silent and you are going to you are going to take all the humility that comes with this. And I was devastated. I was actually furious. And um, it was only because his, his direction was so clear. And I had no wiggle room out of that. And I was so reluctantly obedient. But what it taught me in that season was so invaluable. Um, and that I left all that in God's hands. And I did not want to. I wanted to handle it. I had a plan. And um, God was so very faithful to me and to us. Um, and it left me with this lasting humility that I, I'm not even sure I could have developed in any other way um, than being literally silenced by God. And so I remember the feeling, in fact, I said at one point during that season, I don't think I'll ever be happy again. And I meant it. I thought, I don't ever, I'll never be happy. I'll just sit over here silent and scorned. And I'm also dramatic. Um, and yet I sit here today, years later, free whole feel very safe and secure in God and and he gave that to me and it was a gift and it was packaged in humility and I'll forever be grateful